In this video, Italian Grandma Lulu will show us how to make a tasty fish soup, rich with a variety of seafood. Grandma made this soup extra rich for a holiday, so you can certainly leave out a few fish if you don't like that type or can't find a particular variety, and still have a delicious and satisfying soup. Step one, seafood prep. Grandma cuts the squid into large pieces and the tentacles lengthwise. She also cuts the calamari into thick slices. Step two, it's time to create the flavor base for our soup, called a sofrito in Italian. Grandma covers the bottom of a skillet with a generous amount of olive oil and heats it over medium-high heat. Then she adds four cloves of garlic, a half an onion cut into large pieces, and one fresh red chili pepper, halved, until the oil is infused with the flavors. Then she adds the tomato puree. and a pinch of salt. Step three, cooking the squid and calamari. At this point, Grandma Lulu adds the squid because it requires a longer cook time. She covers and cooks it for five minutes. In go a pinch of flat leaf parsley and the calamari. She covers and cooks for another five minutes. And we've reached step four. Time to add the whole fish we've selected. Grandma says to find a good position for it because it needs to cook without moving it around. If we start to move it around, it will flake apart. And then the mullet. She covers the soup again and cooks for another, you guessed it, five minutes. While Grandma Lulu waits to add the rest of the fish, she pours herself a glass of delicious Vermentino wine from the Italian island of Sardinia. Mm. Time to add the monkfish or turbot. And the dogfish. Again, feel free to leave these out or to use one of the recommended alternatives. Lulu covers and cooks the stew for another five minutes. Grandma says to remember not to boil the stew, but rather vigorously simmer it. She says it's time to add the grouper, and the jumbo shrimp. She covers and boils the soup for about 30 minutes. Lulu says to notice how the fish is still whole and hasn't flaked apart because we haven't moved it around too much. After the 30 minutes, Grandma Lulu adds the final ingredient, the cleaned clams and mussels. After adding a handful of minced parsley, she covers and steams the clams and mussels for 10 minutes. You can also steam the mussels and clams separately, as we do in our video recipe for seafood spaghetti. The advantage to steaming separately is that you can strain the broth that the shellfish produce at the end of their cook time to remove any sand in the broth that the shellfish creates while they steam. This is an extra precaution you can take if you aren't sure how clean the shellfish are. 
Here, Lulu was confident in her shellfish and steamed them directly in the soup. And our fish soup is ready for the table. Where it is often served with a few slices of bruschetta or crostini. Buon appetito. Tanto buon appetito. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for new video notifications. Let Grandma know that you liked her video by clicking the thumbs up button or leave her a nice comment.